Now, the interesting thing that came out of this was the new DC Studios logo. This coming from Deadline, it says the new regime at DC Studios led by James Gunn and Peter Safran has already started putting their stamp on the division's output with rebooted film and TV slate. Now they are also revamping the studio's logo, emphasizing tradition and hearkening back to the nights of the 80s and 90s that included Christopher Reeve's Superman and Michael Keaton's Batman movies. The new DC logo, DC Studios logo unveiled today at Comic-Con is an updated version of the classic DC Bullet logo created by famous graphic designer Milton Glaser, or Glazer, I'm sorry, who is also behind the I Love NY logo. Glazer's creation used by DC Studios from 77 until 2005. Since then, the studio has gone through multiple logos, the most recent of which is featured above, which was just the circle with the DC kind of like the, I call it like the old football block lettering is what it kind of looked like to me. Uh, when Peter and I, this is James Gunn's quote, when Peter and I formed DC Studios, we immediately knew what logo we wanted to use. Uh, Gunn wrote on X above a picture of himself in a t-shirt with a new logo, as well as an image of the logo. He introduced the reveal of the logo with a video, which you can watch below and a pay paid on the comic, which it played. I think it's supposed to say played on the comic con stage. Gun and Saffron have developed slate full force, blah, 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 all that kind of stuff. So yeah, that's the logo. And there are people who are upset about that. And I don't understand because I think this, the, the logo is great. I think James Gunn and Saffron, like it says, it's remembering and honoring the past while moving into the future. It's exactly what it should be. The logo is the most recognizable. This one is the most recognizable when it comes to DC because it's the one that was used the longest uh, and during the most... Uh, it's It was used the longest during the most widely expressed time with dc i guess i could say uh you know during that 70s to 2005 with the reeves with the batmans with the comics everything was really comic book boom at that time for the most part uh so people really knew what this logo was i was never a fan of the dc with like the page flipped over logo even the one here even the one that was just the circle with the dc in it i thought was just really generic and lame. I was never a big fan of that myself. This one is, it, again, it harkens back to just remembering and honoring the past. It, I, I love it. I, I think it is, it is a great way to go. And I'm glad that they didn't stick with the new. I, I actually kind of felt, or the, the most recent, I, I thought that they were going to go with kind of a combination that's really what I thought they were going to do is a combination of what they currently have. And this uh, kind of with the tilt and this, I thought that's what they're going to kind of go for, but uh, no, they, they kind of went with that. And Hey, I, I mean, I'm all for it. It's an exciting time to be a DC fan. Uh, I mean, next year we're going to get Superman. That's going to be exciting. And it's going to be, it's going to bring hope and optimism back to DC films. And that's exciting. And I don't think people understand that enough people. I don't think enough people understand that. And uh, that's a shame because it is, it's going to be a great time to be a DC. Fan. It is a great time to be a DC fan, but it's even going to be a greater time next year to be a DC fan for sure. But let me know your thoughts on the logo. It's exciting. It is truly exciting to be a DC fan. Uh, and I want to know your thoughts on the logo. I love it. I think it's great. I think it's going to be, a great logo for years to come for DC studios. Uh, so let me know your thoughts in the comments below.